Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is a 20 minute root chakra practice. So we will be doing some hip opening poses and things of the like to help open up our root chakra. And you can just come to an easy seat Feel free to bring a blanket or block underneath your hips for elevation. Palms facing upward, bringing our tip of the first finger to the tip of the thumb, coming to our Gyan Mudra. Just taking a few breaths here to begin. Feeling grounded in our easy pose. Root chakra reaching towards the earth, tall straight back here. Just taking a couple breaths to get our mind ready for our practice. And you can release the hands and we're just going to warm up by doing some shoulder rolls rolling the shoulders up back and down a couple times and doing the same thing rolling them forwards up forward and down And begin to make your way up to a tabletop position, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips as we move into some cat-cow. Inhaling up, flipping the tailbone upward, exhaling down, tucking the tailbone under, rounding the spine. Moving in and out of cat-cow with your breath, inhale open, exhale close. Come back to a neutral position. Bring the big toes together and the knees out wide as you sit the hips back towards the heels for a wide kneed child's pose. And if you need to bring a blanket underneath the hips, you can. Begin to float your body back up to a table position and we'll step our right foot up in between our hands, staying down on the back knee, inhaling up for a low lunge. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Staying here or you can take that right hand rested on the right knee, coming back to that mudra, first finger to thumb and then reaching back and grabbing the left foot, only if that feels comfortable. Release the back foot, making sure that right foot is center. We're going to float our weight backwards for a half split. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt down towards that right leg. And if you need to have a bend in the front knee, you can. 
letting the right toes face the sky. Shifting our weight forward and stepping that right knee back, doing those poses on the other side. Left foot comes up in between the hands. Inhale up, exhale the hands to heart center. And remember you can stay here or if you like more, you can rest the left hand down on the left knee coming to the mudra again, grabbing that right foot with the right hand. Go ahead and release the back foot, making sure that left leg is center. Float your weight backward for half split on this side. Shifting our weight back forward, we'll step that left knee back, tucking those toes under and lifting the hips up and back as we come to down dog. But feel free to float your body back to puppy pose or to child's pose instead of down dog. We'll bring our gaze up in between our hands. Let's walk our feet up and then step them out about the width of our mat, starting to come down to Malasana squat. So hands are at heart center, elbows on the inside of the knees, keeping the feet flat. So you might be up higher or you might be able to drop down low. Pressing into the knees with the elbows and the elbows with the knees. Doesn't matter how high or low you are, as long as those feet are flat. Release the hands down to the mat and lift the hips up. Walking the feet back underneath the hips. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, melt down to a forward fold. Hands can come to the ground or you can grab the elbows here. Feel free to rock side to side and we'll release those hands. Stepping that left foot back, coming to a runner's lunge. Go ahead and rotate that back heel down and make a line from the front heel to the inside arch of the back foot as you windmill up to warrior two, arms are out wide, checking the alignment of those arms. And we'll flip the front palm upward, resting the forearm above the knee, bringing that left arm up and over, staying there or bringing the right hand down to the ground, coming to extended side angle. Go ahead and lower that left hand down, coming back to runner's lunge, stepping that left foot up to meet the right as you come to forward fold again. And we'll get ready to do that on the other side, stepping the right foot back, rotating the back heel down and windmilling up to warrior two. Check the alignment of those arms and also make sure that front knee is aligned over the ankle. Flip that palm upward, resting the forearm above the knee, bringing the arm up and over. And then if you like, that left hand can come down to the ground. Go ahead and lower that right hand down, coming to a runner's lunge. 
This time stepping that left foot back to down dog. Remember you can come to puppy pose or child's pose. Take an inhale, exhale, drop down to those knees, big toes together, knees out wide for a wide knee child's pose. to float your body forward and come down to your belly chin resting on your mat arms down at your sides with palms facing downward we're going to move into locust pose so go ahead and press your pelvis into the ground and you'll start to lift your chest either starting with one leg or moving into both so you can do the right leg first by itself or both Pressing, 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 inhale, exhale, release. Doing the same thing for the next round. This time you can do a left leg or you can do both again. Pressing the pelvis into the ground and that'll help you engage and come up off the ground some more. Left leg or both. Pulling those shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, release. Bringing those hands underneath the shoulders. Floating back to child's pose again just to counteract that back bend we did. Go ahead and make your way to a seated position. However you get there is fine. Legs coming out in front, making sure you're on those sits bones, letting that root chakra be grounded down. Inhaling up, exhale, lead with the chest, kind of keeping a straight back as you lower those arms down for your seated forward bend. Take a breath, release, bending those knees, coming down to your back. However you get there is fine, I just roll down to my back. Go ahead and plant those feet down and then walk your heels back until you graze your fingertips. And we wanna make sure that lower back is connected with the ground. So you might have to tilt your pelvis towards you. Squeeze those glutes. Start to lift the hips off the ground, making a ramp from the knees down towards the shoulders. Pressing those knees together in your bridge pose. You should feel that root chakra engage up in your bridge pose. And then lowering down, bring the feet to the corners of the mat. Let those knees come together. Just resting the hand right hand over the heart left hand over the belly for a breath or two and then we'll move into a second bridge pose same thing feel the heels tilt the pelvis towards you and start to lift the hips Press those knees together like there's an imaginary block you're holding there. Inhale. Exhale, release. Hug the knees into the chest, rocking side to side. And keep your right knee hugged into your chest interlacing the fingers behind the knee 
lowering that left leg down and just pulling that right knee in. And you can stay here or begin to move into a twist using your left hand to pull your right knee over to the left and then bringing your right arm out to the side, elbow in line with the shoulder, making a cactus shape, looking over to the right. And if it's difficult to get your knee down to the ground, you can place a pillow, a couple blocks, a blanket, whatever you need underneath the knee. Taking an inhale, exhale back to center, hug those knees to your chest again. This time keeping the left knee hugged in, extending the right leg down onto the ground, interlacing the fingers underneath the knee, pulling it in towards your chest. And then if you would like to move into a twist, go ahead and use the right hand to pull the left knee over to the right. Left arm, making a cactus shape. Take an inhale, exhale back to center, hug those knees into the chest one more time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as tight as you can in a little ball. Inhale, exhale, release. Come to your Shavasana, feet reaching towards the corners of your mat, palms facing upward. And just begin to tap into your breath. Bringing your attention to your inhales and exhales. Taking a couple long, slow breaths to begin. And then come back to your natural breath. Just letting go of any outside thoughts. As outside thoughts begin to arise, just acknowledge them and send them on their way as you come back to the breath. And as you lay here, I'm going to read to you some root chakra affirmations. And you can repeat each affirmation silently to yourself. I am safe and secure. I am protected. I release any worries, doubts, or fears. 
I am grounded and centered. I have everything I need. I am safe and secure. I am protected. I release any worries, doubts, or fears. I am grounded and centered. I have everything I need. I am safe and secure. I am protected. I release any worries, doubts, or fears. I am grounded and centered. I have everything I need. And just spend your next few moments with those affirmations. Letting them resonate within your mind and your body. on your next inhale begin to wiggle your fingers and toes coming back into your body and back into the room and when you're ready roll over onto your right side using your arm as a pillow just taking a moment or two for gratitude and to revisit those affirmations again Begin to float your body up to a seated position, inhaling the hands up above you, letting them meet. Exhale, bring them down to heart center. Namaste. If you would like to continue your root chakra meditation, you can find some Lam chanting videos. I will link a couple. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Peace and love.